So you you were ready for him? I was ready for him, 100. percent I mean, obviously. Yeah, yeah definitely ready for him. And do you think that's gonna be the fifty thousand dollars a night for you? Dude, if that's not fifty thousand, that's the first time he's ever been knocked out in his whole entire career, and off a side kick to the leg, a spinning hook kick. Yeah, that's just huge. Do you think that that compares with Edson Barbosa's spinning back kick? That that's just that tops it. Tops it. That tops it. <laughs> Why does he top it? <laughs> Why not? Because <laughs> he did it. <laughs> That, was, that shit was beautiful. Yeah, so, so was his. I was just wondering if you thought there was something that you did to set it up that made it look nicer. No. No. Do you remember watching that kick and saying, I could do something better than that? No, at the time, I could, when he did that, I couldn't even throw a spinning hook kick. Wow. Yeah, or did spinning you, anything. Did you work specifically on that? Did you see, because you said on Thursday that you think he has not evolved enough, that he's you know fairly similar over the years. Did you see this opening? Yeah. Yeah, man. We watched a lot of tape on him. And uh, he always has the same defensive tactics, likes to pull to the same side every time, likes to circle to that side. So, yeah, I mean, that's something I created myself. It's in my own time, that technique, and it's really looking to find its home tonight. What's going through your mind when you actually nail it? Uh, nothing. There's, there's no mind in the fight. It's just actions and reactions. Instantaneous. You seem really relaxed in there. Uh, second fight in the UFC. How, how did it feel to you know, go in there and get that spectacular Fucking spectacular, man. Like, it, uh, it doesn't top that right there. Yeah. That's uh, awesome. The guy's never been knocked out. To knock him out like that is just, it's top, top notch. And you showed a lot of heart in that fight with Tony Ferguson. How important was it to go here and make a statement to let the rest of the division know that, hey, you're here to stay? Yeah, not just the rest of the division, man. The entire world, everybody, everybody wanted to know if I was a real deal, if I was a fluke, and I think that performance right there just proved it. So your first fight was a hard fought fight with Tony Ferguson, one of the best in the division. Mm -hmm. You just beat a serious victory in John McKessie. What's next for you? Would you, is there anyone particularly you want? Nah, you, whoever wants it. Whoever anyone, wants it. Anyone who's got the guts to step <laughs> up? No, it don't matter. Nobody. Where's the purple suit? Why don't you wear it this time? You got new shoes on today. No, these are Good old. Good job, man. Good job. It's in the locker room. It's coming out. The last time you wore it for the, the scrum. Yeah, well, I didn't have a chance to go back there yet. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I, I, I liked it. I'm not mocking you, no, just for the record. Okay. So you bought a car with the uh, the bonus last time. What if you get the bonus? Do you have plans on what you're gonna do with it? Yeah, probably invest it. Do something smart with it. Okay. Yeah, I had to play a lot of catch up with that last fifty G's. Right. Years of poverty. Uh, so this one, yeah, just uh, I don't know, nothing fancy. Okay. Key. If I get it. Right. Going to uh, Thailand on Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, what's the plans for post fight celebrations tonight? I imagine it can't be too long because you got a flight to catch. Tonight. You know, I got one of my best friends from high school in town, and uh, and my girlfriend as well, and my parents. So I think we're all gonna go out, and get a few drinks, enjoy ourselves a little bit before we go and crash. You also mentioned, sorry, that uh, this is the first full training camp yep. of your career in I think four years, right? No, uh, a little over two years. Two years. Yeah. So this is the result. Yeah. If you continue to get those full training camps, this is what happens. Yep. All right. Yeah. Good performances <laughs> every time. Hey, Lando, how's how the trial? How's it like being in trial the end of this week? You know, man, I really haven't even left my room that much in the hotel. Taking it low key, relaxing, letting my body rest, and just uh, hanging about. So, yeah, it was like to compete again uh, in the final part of the UFC Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I like to come in the summertime, though, when it's warm and I can go check things out. <laughs> How much do you uh, credit your team for this win? Uh, obviously, a lot of your uh, teammates on this card uh, really sort of helping you, you know, for, for this matchup. Yeah, man. I, there's so much credit to go to the teammates, uh, the coaches as well, but the teammates. So many techniques learned from them. So many insights. Uh, so many rounds with those guys. And I mean, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. Having this experience now with the full camp, I mean, if, if a short notice fight were to come up, are you at a place now in your career where you wouldn't entertain that, or would the circumstances have to be right to take a short notice fight? Yeah, there's variables, so I'm not going to take. Uh, it, it depends on the fight. It depends on the fight. It depends on where I'm at, shape wise, and uh, point of time. Thank you, London. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you, Thank you everybody. Congrats. 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 Congrats.